Hey my loves, so as promised in my recent Cinderella haul and review video, I wanted to show you guys how I achieved the look in that video and the one that I'm wearing right now obviously, using these Cinderella products. So in this video I will have already completed like my base products, my foundation, my brows and stuff because I really just wanted to focus on these products in particular and showing you how the products apply, you know, all that fun jazz. So if you have not already seen the review in the haul, I'll link it down below so you can go and check it out. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys like this look and I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. My lids are already primed. I'm leaving a bit of powder underneath my contour to kind of dull it down a bit and also just provide a nice clean line. I'm going to go into the Ready for the Ball eyeshadow palette. As you can see, we have in here quite a couple of options. What I'm going to do first is take this kind of mauve cool tone brown shade just on a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to start this into my crease area. Sorry for any humming noises you heard up until that point. I didn't realize my computer fan was still running. Now I'm going to take kind of this maroony shade right up here. It's hard to tell where I'm even pointing because this palette is so huge. And on a pointed pencil brush, I'm just going to carve out the outermost corner with this. super teeny tiny little brush, I'm just going to lightly pack this onto my outer corner as well. So just to soften out that outer V area, I am just taking this angled shader brush, and this doesn't have any products on it, I'm just lightly kind of going over the outer perimeters of this eyeshadow to soften it. Now I'm going to take this ultra shimmery white shade, and I'm going to pack this onto my inner corner. And obviously this is ultra, ultra metallic and it's not going to stay like this. There's gonna be kind of a transition between them. But for now, I just want to get this color placed down. On that ultra small smudger brush again, I am just going to take this golden color. And right here where these two shades kind of meet, I'm going to start to dab this shade on. And now what I can do is kind of go between brushes. So I'm gonna go back to the brush that I placed down that white color with and lightly blend the edges there. Then back to the brush that I placed the maroon with and I'll kind of blend the edges here. And you'll wanna just keep repeating these steps until you have your desired intensity and kind of blendedness on the lid. I'm going to take the maroon color again just on my fluffy brush and lightly kind of redefine this outermost corner area. Like I said, we're just working with these three shades and building up and down intensity until we get where we want. I'm not really seeing a proper brow bone highlight in this palette. So what I can do is just take a matte face powder like so, and I'm just going to highlight right under the brows with this. This helps to clean up the eyeshadow as well as add some brightness in this area. And actually now that that's done, I can just quickly set off my brows. I did them off camera with a brow pencil but now I can just quickly set them off with a bit of gel. Now I can dip into this little eyeliner kit like so. I'm having a hard time showing it without a glare. I'm just going to take the darkest shade here. I can't tell if this is black or ultra dark brown. It's called Grand Duke. Let's actually like give this a quick swatch. It looks straight up black to me. So what I'll do is use this on the upper lash line. I just smudged a bit of that dark maroonish brown on the lower lash line using a little smudger brush and I only brought it in about halfway. I thought the camera was recording, it totally was not. And now I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes just using that super shimmery white shade and this will bring some life back into them and open them up. on the rest of the face for just a moment and come back later to the eyes. I'm gonna use the NARS blush in the shade Seduction and that is a tongue twister. I just had to do like three takes to get that right. I'm gonna use the Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder Brush and I'm just going to tap. That is all the product that I want. This blush is ultra freaking pigmented and you probably can't see a lot going on now but it's better to start light and build it up. 
Once it's on, of course, it gives a gorgeous, gorgeous effect, but you have to be careful. This powder has definitely been sitting beneath my contour for long enough, so I'm just gonna quickly blend this out. Now using the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator on a duo fiber blush brush. I'm just going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones with this. Unfortunately, as I probably already said in my haul video, I was unable to get my hands on the illuminator from this collection, but this kind of gives a perfect Cinderella glow too. So also, of course, just on the tip of that nose, and on the Cupid's bow. Now that all of my powder products are on my face, I'm going to set my face using two different products. First, MAC Prep and Prime, and then Urban Decay All Nighter. I just added a bit of dark brown liner to my waterline, as well as the upper tight line of my eyes. Now I'm going to curl my lashes, and now I'm going to apply several coats of my favorite volumizing black mascara. Here's kind of what this looks like with several coats of mascara, and right now my lashes are definitely in a good place, but I am just gonna add some little half lashes on the very outer corner. So I just, not that I can talk doing it, um, I just finished defining my lips with MAC's Whirl Lip Liner, and over top I'm going to use Serenity from Gerard Cosmetics. It's just a really great peachy nude that goes with everything, plus Max Whirl kind of pulls some of the peach out and makes it more of like a neutral. Then right over top, I'm going to use the Cinderella Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Charming. Do you guys see the packaging for this? It's like an actual dofa in the little squeezy tube. I love it. And I'm just going to pop that right here in the center. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!